would be an understatement to say the world has not changed in the past decades as ties move from not having education degrees to compete and get the most educational certificates possible. One of the biggest key to that change is language. When you look at the fact that a child has two parents and the parents say to, to survive and succeed very well in this world, you don't need one college degree, you need two. You don't need two languages, you need at least three. One of the schools catering to the new demands is the Thai Chinese International School, founded by the Taiwanese community in Thailand. The school pushes the bar as its goal is to produce students who have proficiency not only in English, but in Thai and Taiwanese. When reaching high school, students even go further by learning additional languages such as Japanese and French. Well, to get the real trilingual experience, I have a student from the school with me. Her name is Mai. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and uh, Mai is going to teach me how to say, I like watching the Thai Asian News Network in three languages. Okay, of course, I can say the English part. And uh, I can say the Thai part, right? Chan chop do rai gan kong Thai Asian News Network. I, I can do that. But I don't think I can do this, which is in Chinese. Can you help me? Um, um I like why don't you say it, to, say it for me again? Okay. Wow. Ni <laughs> hao How do students do it? Well, Mai tells TAN Network her trick. Basically, you need lots of practice. Speaking, listening, writing, reading. Um, you can watch movies, for example, if you want to learn English or English or Chinese, watch a Chinese movie and try to understand it without reading the subtitles. Um, speak, speak with your friends who are um, more um, adept in that language. Yeah, stuff like that. Just use it a lot and then you'll catch up. Yet, despite the confidence shown by students like Mai, academics still are not confident with the fact that students are pushed to be an immersion of a second language at a young age. Color and write the fraction. That's three jobs. The, the, the problem that's, that, that's quite um, predominant and prevalent in Thailand is the misconception that if I start my kids early at one, two, three years old, learning bits of English for an, an hour or so a day, that it's going to give them some sort of head start, that their learning of English is going to be accelerated somewhat. And there's really no basis for that. There's no, Research does not suggest that uh, early learning, particularly two, three, four years old, gives learners any particular benefit. It is widely believed that a child should be able to develop his or her own mother language first to have a firm foundation to receive the second and third languages. Studies show higher level students have no problem learning a second language later in life. Many schools force students to speak only one language, such as English, at school. Academics argue that pushing students to be in such a tense situation may cause many students to rebel against the second language. Others dare to oppose. Well, the other side of the research says you need to start as early as you can to embed a second language in them so they can keep it and, and use it better as they get older. We don't intend in a pre-K-2 program to make a language that's concern, though. Uh, the language will be English, but it'll be mostly socialization. So kids will be picking up words from songs, from having play, and doing other things. But their um, the person will be speaking Thai. Well, whatever side you're on, there's still consensus on the importance of the role of parents who need to be able to provide the right language environment for their children. Well, at home, it's, it's good that, well, even though my Chinese is not so good, but my wife, her Chinese is okay. So she'll be the one who help my, you know, who help the, the, the kids with Chinese. And I'll be the one who help them with Thai and English. So that, that balances out, you know, for, for the kids to, to do their homework. And when they have questions, 
they can ask both of us. I think much depends upon the general environment, family environment, um, the media play a much, much more important role. Um, I don't think that uh, trying to close people off from what's going on elsewhere in the world means that they will actually uh, be stronger in terms of retaining national identity. It's all about values. It's all about the environment that we should create. Although critics may claim that such an education cannot be applied to Thailand, a country with massive economic gaps, a multi-language student still holds hope for Thais. No matter where you learn at any school, the best thing what you can do is try your best. Like, not good student who go to really good school will be the only one who success. People who try or practice has, I think, has more opportunity to um, have a grow up and have big business and learn in have be in like a better community stuff like that. So how young is too young to start your children on a trilingual language system? Well, according to these kids, it's not that hard. Perhaps it's not the system, but it's about you as a parent to make the right decision. For Thai Asian News Network, I'm Chao Rakhijian. Bye. Bye. Bye.